Hey everybody, Alex here out of the Park 21 Pittsburgh Pirates franchise episode number 21. We are hitting the home stretch of the 2022 season. We are in a very important series against the Milwaukee Brewers. So we're going to go ahead and play a game today against the Brew Crew and then sim the final game uh, tomorrow to kind of see where we are at to look at the standings overall. Uh, let's see, in the NL Central, we're five and a half out of the Central. Very unlikely to win the Central at this point with the Cardinals and Brewers. Uh, you know, Cardinals, a bit of a slump right now with the Brewers are hot. And I just don't see us really being able to make that charge to get into the uh, NL Central race competitively. But we are still in contention for the wild card, and we are in a really close race here with the Phillies and the Brewers. So I wanted to play this Brewers series today, even though it's only been less than a month since our last video we've unfortunately lost our last two games look at the schedule here briefly and there's one game i want to talk about in particular one guy in particular i do want to discuss but yeah one runs against the brewers and the reds feel like the pirates in real life after a three game win streak what i want to talk about though and you see in the title of this video is mitch keller has i think put himself squarely in the Cy Young consideration and conversation. He just threw a no-hitter in his last start against the St. Louis Cardinals, winning that one 6 to nothing. Just one error, and Keller only walked one. We'll check out highlights from that game, at least for the final out here in a second. But Keller was just almost perfect. Almost. Nine innings, zero hits, two walks, nine Ks, 111 pitches. His ERA now is down to just 2.7. And I think he's certainly going to be in that strong conversation for uh, Cy Young in the NL. And I think he certainly deserves it with the, I mean, you see the numbers across the board here are absolutely spectacular. And his development has been awesome to follow. Um, I do want to show you the highlight of the no hitter, the final out. So I'll jump to that here in a second. All right, this was last out of the game facing Mike Moustakis. And got to give O'Neill Cruz the first baseman a lot of credit here for making a spectacular diving catch to preserve the no hitter. Hit the first, Cruz dives for it, flips it to Keller for the no-no. Wish I had a little animation to show that. Maybe they do that in, in non-highlights, but that was the final out and to, to complete Keller's no-hitter. I think only my, I know, only my second no-hitter I've had in this game. I think Joe Musgrove in my Out of the Park 19 series, which I didn't do on YouTube, had a, a perfect game in his first year, and now Keller has a no-hitter here in year number three for the Buccos. So that's the scenario. We have Keller on the mound today. Hopefully we'll uh, continue that streak, but that's the stage for us right now. 17-64, a game and a half back from the Phillies, and the Brewers are uh, right now sitting in that first wild card spot, and, and really giving the, the Cardinals, who are struggling a little bit, a, a good charge there for the NL Central lead. So uh, that's where we sit here today. I'll go through the players here briefly, and then we'll get to the game with Mitch Keller on the hill against Milwaukee. One thing I should mention, and it's easy to cheese this game, but playing it more realistic like I've tried to do for this series is the trades I've done this year have generally not gone well. Uh, you saw in the last video at the deadline, we traded away Josh Bell to Boston. We ended up getting back CJ Crone in return from the Giants, and he has been pretty miserable and has not really played a whole lot for it. He's in 17 games, 11 starts, a 128 average, only one home run, struck out 16 times. OPS plus of 13, negative 0.4 war. So it really has not worked. I thought with a high adaptability, it'd be better, but it really has not looked good too far. And if you're wondering how Josh Bell is doing in Boston, last I checked pretty well, hitting 315 with three home runs, 14 RBI. So, hmm. Maybe that's a trade to regret. I don't know. Still going to lose Josh Bell after the year. So kind of went back and forth. I made another trade um, at, off screen after I did the video before the trade deadline. I made a last second decision and that didn't work either. I traded for starting pitcher Jimmy Nelson of the Rangers. He went three innings his first start and tore his labor. So that did not really work. Unfortunate that just bad luck when it's a really terrible trade, but just gets hurt. Right. It, right. Uh, in his first start, he's done for the year. He's a free agent after the year. I, highly highly doubt i will bring in, be bringing him back to show you what i did trade for um, him uh let's see i traded away just a couple of uh depth guys here this pitcher he's got you know some good stuff but i got a lot of pitchers with good stuff on this team traded away carrasco a shortstop pretty good defender very weak with a bat but 20 years old give this chance for him to grow and flourish and travis mcgregor who was in, I think, AAA for us. He was in AA for us in Altoona as a starting pitcher. He did, a, did an okay job, but there isn't a whole lot there. So I really didn't give up a whole lot, just gave up a couple pieces of depth, but got some bad luck there, excuse me, um, some bad luck there with um, Jimmy Nelson getting hurt and being out for the year. 
quick look here at the lineups. Uh, let me put Cruz here. We're going to have him start today. Trace Pereira still doing. He's slumping, actually. He's not doing that well right now. Jacob Stallings has not done any better. I get to DFA Jacob Stallings because his defense is good, but uh, I'll probably call up a catcher, Jonah High, whenever the rushers expand in a couple of days. Uh, Cruz at first, not doing too well. 11 home runs, but after a hot start, he's really cooled off since. Kevin Newman's always hitting well. Maybe I should move him. He's been lead off for me for most of the year. Maybe I should move him down because he's been one of the more consistent bats. Brian Hayes, uh, it's been pretty solid. 280. The average is never good. The average is not as high as I think it should be. It should be like 300 given his, his numbers here, but. Overall, pretty happy with his play, and he's pretty strong defensively. Cole Tucker is finally healthy. Just got healthy after, I think, a quad strain for, for several weeks. Doing a pretty good job. Just wish he was a little better defensively at shortstop than I'd really have a lot of confidence in him. Brian Reynolds had average to just simply knock him up. Still in that 270 range for most of the year. Disappointed in that, but still not having a, a terrible season. Gets on base a whole lot. But Lee Hamilton is, I think, literally the worst hitter in baseball. His average is 200. His OPS, I know, is a league low 35, but he's out here for his defense and trying to play uh, this other center fielder Lolo Sanchez a bit he's on base is better he's got a one-to-one -one walk to strikeout ratio but still not a whole lot of production so let's just go with defense right now and Frazier has bounced back nicely out there in right he uh, was in a slump in our last episode he's kind of come back a look at his splits here briefly for you guys yeah in June he hit 203 came alive in July and has only uh, been able to get better here in the month of August so nice job there for Adam Frazier, glad I did not ultimately trade him. For the pitching staff, really trying to cobble together. Starters 4 and 5, even Cody Bolton struggled a bit in that 3 spot, but we've called up Brandon Waddell. Try to get some action in with middling results. Trevor Williams has not been great, but a little better as of late. We took him out of the rotation briefly. We're actually, we're, we're running a 4-man rotation for a little bit. We had some days off in the schedule, but uh, the schedule is tightening up a bit. Musgrove's doing a nice job. Bolton's hanging in there, and the bullpen has been really solid. Blake Zeterlin has really come on strong here. Only was gonna only going to uh, call him up for, for just a little bit of time, but his ERA at one point was .36. He just got tagged for a run in uh, yesterday's lost to Milwaukee, but uh, really happy with him. And Nick Birdie's been able to stay healthy, so that's good news too. All right, guys, looking at the lineups here to take on the Brewers again. Really, you can't, definitely cannot get swept. Want to take two or three here to keep our, our season going. Not that our hopes will be over. We're still a month left, but you don't want to slip too far. Uh, this will be, I think, our lineup. Yeah, I think we'll, hmm, don't want to make some changes to the lineup. I know I have this conversation every single time uh, with you guys. Let me look over the lineup, and then we'll go through the lineups and uh, meet you out there for first pitch. All right, there we go. We got Hayes, Frazier, Reynolds, Newman, Tucker, Barrera, Cruz, Hamilton, and of course, Mitch Keller. And the Brewers have a pretty good lineup, especially at the top with Herrera, Arcia, Yelich, Boehm, Navarez, Urshela, and Ciarte, and Kane with Steven Matz on the hill. I know I played the Brewers, I think, actually in our last video, but because this series feels like it means so much, I do want to play the Brew Crew again. So sorry for, for repeating teams here, but this is such an important series. I do want to bring it to you guys and play this one out. Matz doing well. His last four starts have been all quality, so we'll try to uh, get the better of him with a looks like a pretty good pitcher stool between Steven Matz and Mitch Keller. We'll take you out to PNC Park, 34,000 in attendance for first pitch. All right, Mitch Keller coming off a no hitter. Let's see how long he can keep that no hit streak alive facing Keston Herrera as the leadoff batter. 3 1 count, so maybe not uh, setting the tone great early. We'll see what happens here. Big spot here for the Pirates. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next video will probably be our end of season. Hopefully there'll be some playoffs to talk about. As Keller will allow a hit. So the uh, no hit streak ends with the last game. The first batter Herrera hits a double, maybe three. It's going to be a triple for Herrera and the Brewers threatening already. They don't care about what Keller's done lately. And it's been spectacular as of late for Mitch Keller. But he'll try to work out of trouble. One, two to Arcia. That hit the center. Hamilton will catch it. Don't know if his arm's going to be good enough. It may be. It's close. And Hamilton gets him. Nice job there. That's why he's in center field despite hitting like a pitcher. He's got His arm's not great, but he made a great throw. And now the bases are empty with two outs, but facing the very dangerous Christian Yelich up to 31 home runs this season. Will he make it 32? He'll hit that to left. That's going to be a double. So Keller getting hit pretty hard to start. But again, the Brewers do have a really strong like top five in their lineup, and that's why they are really trying to push themselves strongly in not only the wildcard conversation, but the NL Central first place conversation. Alex Boom, 39 home runs this year. That's going to be another double. So that's three already allowed by Keller, and that's going to get a run in. So despite 
the bases being empty with two outs. Brewers still find a way to get runs. And Keller's giving up hits. He's giving up runs. And that's a little unlike him for the hot streak he's been on. Now facing Navarez, the catcher. Ground that to Cruz. So the Brewers do get one. I feel like they get a run. Every, the opponent always gets a run early on us whenever I do these videos. So we'll try to get one back. Our offense has still struggled. We're dead last in the runs again by a wide margin again. I got to try to find some power in, in the offseason. I know it's kind of a money ball approach, but there's got to be some power with this team as well as Frazier hits that up the middle. Will it drop in? It will not. A little deceptive there in this two away. Base is empty for Brian Reynolds. Looking to try to finish the year strong. It's been okay, but it should be better. And he will line up to second. And so Keller will try to kind of get back on track here against Urshela. And that one hits sharply to Reynolds, but he'll make the catch for the first out. Yeah, Keller's, uh, you know, they're, they're, he's having some troubles today. I mean, it's been a bit of a rough start for him. And he'll try to work a clean inning here. There's two outs. Cruz, very good first base defense. That always helps. 2-0, and that should be a single for Lorenzo Kane, who just opted out in real life. And so the Brewers trying to get some two-out magic like they did last inning, but they have their pitcher, Steve Matz, who can hit a little bit. He's got a buck seventy-four and a dinger this year, so don't want to assume anything. As Matz hits that to left, and that's going to drop at Reynolds' feet, so that is going to be a single. So there you go, Steve Matz. Showing pitchers can rake, showing the DH should not exist. Now Herrera, full count. Keller really struggling a bit here. He's able to get the punch out of Herrera. Brewers can't push a run across, but they do get the Keller as well as anybody has in a little bit. Kevin Newman hitting in the four hole after hitting leadoff for most of the year. And Pirates, game and a half out behind Philadelphia as Newman off the wall in center, almost out there in dead center. That should be a leadoff double for Kevin Newman, struggling a bit in real life, but doing well here in the out of the park universe. And with the way baseball is going, maybe the only part of baseball to watch here by the time this video comes about is out as a Cole Tucker strikes out looking, trying to get that run in. Trace Barrera, bottom of the lineup. Barrera hits that to third, and uh, who's that? Newman able to get back to the bag, so uh, it's two away for Cruz. Trying to show some power in that bat. We'll ground it to second, and the Pirates strand the leadoff double from Kevin Newman. Again, the offense just has not been strong enough, and it will be our downfall if we cannot make the postseason as Keller. Still getting hit pretty, pretty good. That's an out, but... Not been the cruising performance. Uh, he threw 111 pitches. His last start actually had to skip a day because he was not uh, fully rested for that, that fifth day in the rotation. But um, it's all about production. All right, now he's going to try to get out of this one, two, three. It looks like he will. Tucker throws on the cruise. And the Brewers still lead 1 0 as we go. Bottom three. Hamilton leading off, trying to stay above the Mendoza line. He's had a home run today, Billy. He got one on the air. Let's make it two. And he'll hit that sharply to third. But he will ground out, and that probably puts his average hit around 199. Mitch Keller hitting 128. I think Keller had a hit and is no and has a no hitter too. And he'll try to get another one. So both pitchers have a hit today. Pitchers who can rake. Nice job there for Keller. Now can Brian Hayes full count. Try to draw a walk. And he will strike out instead. And Adam Frazier. Trying to move a man along here. And he will look at strike three instead. Keller, 42 pitches through three innings. Saw five hits, one walk, only one K. Striking out, was at like 11, I think, in his no-no bid. As he will get Navarez to pop up to that Newman over there at second. One, two, to Urshela. Yeah, do not want to lose this one of the Brewers. Certainly cannot be swept. Phillies thought, you know, they, they're playing the Dodgers right now. I meant to show the Dodgers, but I saw in the standings earlier, they're right around 100 wins already. Like, it's ridiculous how good that team is. And uh, they have to be the overwhelming favorites for the World Series. Although we did beat them last year in the postseason, if you guys have been following along. And Brian Reynolds will lead things off with a single in the center. So 21, really uh, had a lot of fun with this series. Appreciate you guys watching. Try to comment uh, as much as I can with you guys as... Reynolds gets thrown out a second on the fielder's choice. Newman now standing on first. Should probably look about running here. Newman has stolen 21 bags this year. Let's look at Navarez quickly. He's only throwing out 15%. We're going to try to steal. 
Newman get there, he will hold instead. Try the old hit and run with Cole Tucker. He will ground, so that'll keep us out of the double play. Move Newman to second, but there's two away with two out for catcher Trace Barrera. Maybe it's Trey Barrera. Not 100% sure. Actually, suspended in real life. And he lines out to Urshela. So, Pirates again. Runner on. Runner stranded as we go top five. Facing Lorenzo Cain with a, I believe, single. His last at bat. Now 2-2 count. Keller looking for another punch out. He can't get it. That'll get grounded to Hayes. Oh, and Hayes bobbles it. And so Kane will reach on the error by the Pirates' third baseman. His sixth of the season. And Keller going to get a strikeout here. Facing Mats. First pitch swing. And Bunt going to get laid down. Bunt will come down. Hayes chance for redemption. And he will get the out at second. So there's redemption. My name is Cabrian Hayes to a race. Uh, that is Kane. Now Matt's at first base, facing top of the order with Herrera. One for two today. And Keller, his third K of the game. Garcia, Brewers have a very good team, especially with that lineup. But Keller gets back-to-back -back punch outs. And we'll head bottom five. And just like real life, the Pirates offense, putting up some goose eggs. And we'll Cruz. We'll look to change that power hitting first baseman who slumped pretty good. Does have a tendency to strike out a whole lot like he did right there. And Hamilton still holding on to that 200 average. 3-1 count. He's going to swing. I wish he would have taken a pitch there. And that's two away. Bringing up Keller the pitcher. We're going to leave Keller in. He's got a single today. See if he can make it two for two. And he will run out to his at bone at first. And we'll head top six. Not a lot of offense. Especially for the Pirates. Christian Yelich in that MVP conversation. On the count, 1-2. Keller will deliver deal. That one hit back to Keller. Will he make the throw? He will. And that should be the first down of the sixth inning. Keller calming things down. 68 pitches, 5 and a third. It's not allowed to hit in a little bit, and I'm sure it just jinxed it. As it's a ground out to Hayes again. Hayes, what is happening to Cabrian Hayes? Second error in as many innings. Don't know if he's normally very good defensively, but just having a tough time of it. And now Keller's got to work around with a man on. Navarro's at the plate, the catcher. Full count. Don't want to lose him here. And that one hit the Cruz. Double play. Nice job there. So some good defense. The bailout ace again. And double him off. We'll go bottom six. Pirates still looking for a run. All right, Hayes, time for redemption here. 1 0 count. Get on base, be nice. And he will hit that hard to first. Right to Bohm. Throws on the mats for out number one. Not really doing a whole lot offensively today. Adam Frazier. As I tried to play with the lineups a little bit, he'll strike out. Bumped uh, Frazier up in the lineup to the two-hole, but not looking too good right now. Probably shouldn't have had Frazier with a lefty because he does not hit lefties as well as righties. And Reynolds strikes out. So Pirates offense. Mats continues to deal. Keller. 75 pitches. We'll head to the top of the seventh. On 8 o'clock here. That one grounded to Tucker. Throw on the cruise for out number one. Facing Inciarte, who's 0 for 2 today, hitting just 218. 2 2 count. He'll look at strike three. It's number five for Keller. Come on, we cannot waste this performance here from Keller as Kane hits that deep into the hole to Cruz, but he'll throw in the Keller for out number three. Is that going to be it for Mitch Keller? It's going to be close. 85 pitches. We'll leave him in, I think, for another inning. Uh, leaving Matt's in, but if the pinch hitter does come up, then certainly we'll take Keller out of the game. But let's get to that point. 2-2 to, with Newman. He hits that, taps at the second. Throw in the first for out number one, and you just see the lack of power in this line. It really hurts as these games go by so quickly. And as Tucker pop up, and that's going to be the second baseman, or Herrera. I think I've been saying Urshela. It's Herrera at second, Urshela at third. And there's two away for Barrera. Just trying to get somebody on, somebody in. Herrera, a little dribbler back to the pitcher. Mats will make the throw, and the Pirates, stop me if you heard this before, go quietly in the seventh. Leaving Keller out there to face the other pitcher, Steven Mats, one for two today, 2-2 two -two count. And he will strike out, so Keller, after a little tough start, really settled down, full count now to Herrera. And then, oh, Herrera chased. That was inside, should have been ball four, instead of strike three and out number two for Arcia. He's looking for his first hit today, hitting 283 on the year. And that one grounded back. Keller will retrieve it and throw in the cruise. And so Keller allowed one run. But right now he's still in line for the loss. 
And that has to change quickly. That's going to be it on Keller because he's up to bat this inning. So we're going to go ahead and get... Looks like Jeremy Walker. I'll get a lefty up in case two. We'll go ahead and get Amir Garrett. Move it around with O'Neill Cruz in the lineup. Full count to Cruz. Still nothing. Just can't buy a hit today. And maybe we want to think about pinch hitting for Billy Hamilton even with Keller needing replaced here in a moment. And we're going to go ahead and try Lolo Sanchez who replace Hamilton straight up in center field. 2-2 two -two count. And Lolo check swing. Strike number three. Now with Keller up. Let's go for some power. CJ Crone. Just no offense. So frustrating. No, it's frustrating for you guys here to just watch a whole lot of nothing as Crone will ground out the first. And Mats has made it through eight scoreless. All right, Jeremy Walker coming in for the Pirates to face Yelich. 3 1 count. Not a good sign here for Walker. Facing Yelich, who will draw the walk. And now he's got to face Alec Bohm. As the Pirates want to keep this one based on how the offense is going today. Don't want to let this lead extend any further than it has. 2-2 two, two to Bohm, and that one gets away, and that's a ball too. So full count now, runner on second. And I'm going to get Neveroskis moving around. Maybe I should have started with him. All right, payoff pitch here from Walker. He strikes out Bohm. Nice job there. Good job by Barrera defensively. Now facing Navarez. Got some power. 16 home runs this season. 2-2. Two, two, Walker delivers. And there's a second K on the curveball. And now facing Urshela. I want to pitch around him. He's got a low eye. The boy Cage is decent. But uh, having Ciarte, he's not hitting too well. Next. 0-2 oh, to two Urshela. And there's the K. So three straight strikeouts for Jeremy Walker. We'll head bottom nine. Needing a run. And we'll face the very good Josh Hader. He's got a case per nine of over 15 this year. Yeah, this year. ERA of three and a half. Facing Hayes, Frazier, Reynolds, top of the lineup. All right. We'll see what happens. 3 0. Hayes in a good spot. Put the uh, red light on. Don't want him to swing here. Try to get on base. And he'll look at ball four. Won't pinch run. Do we want to try to steal? Maybe a little hit and run action. Frazier, not great versus lefties. Yeah, not yeah, not great versus lefties. That's that's a fair way to, to, to sum that up. Might try a hit and run. 0-2. Could it be a strikeout? Frazier, deep in the hole, is short. We'll get the out at first. Does push Hayes over at least. Runner on second. See the outfield arms. Kane's pretty low average. Yelich is average. And Inciarte's pretty good in right. Hayes with decent speed. Want to get Neveroskis moving in case we tie this thing up. Brian Reynolds trying to... Send the fans some happy here. It's one for three today. Two, two count. Tough spot here for Reynolds. He'll strike out. And now the Pirates are down to the last out. It's Kevin Newman. He's done well versus lefties. Does a good job of getting on base, avoiding strikeouts, but he's down the hole. One, two. Here's the pitch from Hader. And Newman looks at strike three. The Pirates lose one, nothing. That one hurts a whole lot, guys. Pirates lose one, nothing. Real defensive pitching dual kind of game brewers one run five hits no errors pirates zero runs three hits two arrows both by cabrian hayes on either proof costly for the buckos yeah that is not a great performance especially keller strong again he's just had some real hard luck lately and just could not do anything and keller was responsible for one of the three hits only reynolds newman had hits only one walk struck out nine times just really pitiful offense unfortunately really painful game to watch and that one's gonna hurt a whole lot with our place in the standings hopefully uh the phillies lost to la we'll see if they did it or not kevin newman though does have a 25 game hit streak we'll be back in a second to sim uh the next game of the uh, series it's just the final game against milwaukee all right, we are back here for August 28th. We have the Dodgers again. I mentioned them. I want to go 100 wins, 137. They did just lose pitcher Walker Bueller for five to six weeks. So see if he comes back for playoff time, probably right around there. Uh, unclear right now, but he's certainly going to be right up there with Keller for Cy Young conversation. Really just disappointed by that performance. The Phillies did lose the Dodgers yesterday, so we only remain a game and a half back, while the Brewers are only a game back from the Cardinals in the Central, three games up in that first wild card spot. So let's go ahead. Joe Musgrove in our next game here against Kyle Hendricks for the Brewers. 
we'll go ahead and sim this one. Hendrix has been roughed up pretty good. His last couple outings can paid a whole lot of money too. And the offense has to come alive. The bats simply have to come alive. We have scored three runs in our last two games. That is not acceptable. And we'll see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and sim this. Should get the result back, I think, immediately. Unless the game wants to save. And the Pirates... We are saving. So... I'll hang out with you guys here while this thing, I think I have it on a weekly basis, not a daily basis, but we did get stuck in the safe here. So fingers crossed, show must grow on the hill. We gotta really have this, gotta start getting competitive again. Let's see what happens, the Pirates win. All right, so we take one of three, not great, but at least salvage the win here, five to three, get some offense finally. Brian Reynolds has a uh, run scoring single. Tucker did well. Uh, looks like I got a little dicey there in the ninth. We'll work our way out of trouble. Yelich tag must grow for a three run home run. We've all our runs, or four of our five runs, came bottom of the third. Uh, let's check the box score out here. Newman, one for five. Hayes, two for four. All right, Tucker, Frazier, better performance is still not great. Bottom of the order is giving us nothing. Barrera's really in a slump right now, so I want to bring up a catcher here in a second. For them, six hits. Uh, the home run looks like by Yelich was all their offense. Uh, let's see. Hendricks. Yeah, Hendricks did not have a great outing. Bullpen did a nice job, but he went four and a third. allowed five uh, runs, one walk, three strikeouts. And Musgrove has been very good, too. He went seven strong. Struck out seven. Did allow a home run. He's kind of prone to doing that. But check out his recent outings here. Ball been fairly strong. little bit of a rough routing versus the uh, the Rays last week. But... Happy to get that win. Birdie gets the save. Good to have him back healthy. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood in the lineup. And so the Pirates sitting here at 71-65. I'll go through that off camera. Uh, I may check back in. I don't know. We'll see how the end of the season. It may not be literally the end of the season. Maybe like a week left and I'll do something kind of different depending on how close this playoff race is. Hopefully it's close. Still a game and a half out though. I guess the Brewers beat uh, the Dodgers in that last game. They did. It looks like, yeah, 4 nothing. So it took 3 or 4 from LA, which... It's a result I was not expecting, so we still sit a game and a half out. So we'll come down in the final stretch. We'll need all hands on deck. I'll join you guys next time for end of the season. See if we make the playoffs or not. Let me know your comments in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.